the, the question is Lyme anxiety. Uh, is anxiety related to Lyme disease? Usually related to the diagnosis of chronic Lyme disease. So somebody walks into the office with erythema migrans who's done a little bit of research says, that, that's Lyme disease, isn't it? And I say, yep, we're going to give you some antibiotics, you're going to get better. And the overwhelming majority of people in that setting do get better. It's the person who walks in with vague complaints, no physical findings, so no physical finding, nothing that uh, I can say that's what it is or that's what it is, but it's, it's this vague constellation of complaints. Those people, somebody has told them that it's Lyme disease. It might have been at the grocery checkout. It might have been looking at, at something on the internet. It might have been going to, a, to a, a, a physician who claims that it's chronic Lyme disease. And then they wind up coming to me at the referral center that I used to run at, at Robert Wood Johnson. And they're scared out of their minds because I've had this disease for who knows how long. Look what it's doing to me. I'm, never gonna, I'm not going to be around to watch my children grow up. People's anxiety runs wild. And should you be concerned if you have Lyme disease? Sure. Is there reason to be afraid of it? Eh, a little bit, sure. But to, to, to approach hysteria is, is in nobody's best interest, and it's really unnecessary, and it's, it's, it's one of the really toxic consequences of this ongoing debate about chronic Lyme disease.